This year's robotics capstone was inspired from some of the recent developments in robotics. What I wanted to do in the capstone is give students some of the tools, things like robot navigation or interfaces, and have them come up with an idea where they could apply their robotics knowledge to solve a real problem. The name of our project is Chakabot. Our hope is to actually use this in a hospital um, where nurses walk so much between rooms. So we're hoping that the robot can actually automate that and go get items for the nurses while they have more time to talk to patients. Originally, the Chakabot was designed for your pantry. There wasn't enough interest for that, so we ended up talking to some of our friends that were nursing majors. And through those conversations, we thought of applying this to the hospitals. We have a group of four on our team, yeah. and we all have kind of split up the work, so like they're working on the brain. It's more of like a nervous system, really. It connects everything together. While well, I'm working on the web app portion, which basically is how the user interacts with the robot, and then he's working on the like linear actuator stuff. We were printing out stuff like this. They're basically just the components that the robot uses to attach the linear actuator so that it can rise up and uh, grab a box like this and then it can bring it to the... <laughs> a work in progress <laughs> so that it can bring it to the user. We're all like CSE students so we know how to like make software but there's a, a lot of other aspects to robots like there's a lot of moving parts so there's some like mechanical engineering involved some electrical engineering involved there's some embedded systems work and it allows us to you know deepen our understanding in other areas we have to design pieces that like fit together and that uh, ultimately our software is going to run that's been one of the bigger challenges i'd say they give us all these tools and resources to be able to basically finish a robot we get to use a lot of our technical skills and combination of all the information from previous classes that we've taken. So it's, it's a really cool project. So our system is called the Waiter Bot, and it's designed such that a waiter or waitress will place food and drinks onto this tray on the robot. The recipients will take the food and drinks off of it. The learning curve is pretty steep because um, we're using like, a lot of open source libraries, so there's not a whole lot of like, documentation. Today I'm working on almost like a cup holder. We have these little platforms that we'll put like our cups on, but one of the problems is that the cups can like shake around a lot. And then so I'm going to be designing the uh, cutout in CAD, and then I'm going to go to the laser cutter in a little bit and then get it cut out on the laser cutter. The mapping stuff was really fun to play around with and work with. It was really hard to figure it out. Once you did, it was like a lot of it was done for you, so it was really nice. The problem we're trying to address now is decrease the acceleration of our robot because we run the risk of you know spilling drinks or spilling other things. So our robot is called the Range Rover. It's a driving range robot. Uh, it'll carry around golf balls at a driving range. And what it'll do is it'll automatically dispense a golf ball when you wave your club in front of it. We wanted to sort of integrate technology with the driving range. The most difficult part of it was probably creating the dispenser. Um, which would go inside of this box right here to dispense all the golf balls out one at a time. Um, it's probably one of the harder parts of it because of the computer scientist you don't normally get to do mechanical engineering, but it's also one of the neater parts of it too. Nice.